What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. And in this clip, man, look, it's a lot to unpack into this clip right here. Old Karen getting her tire fits. Unfortunately, the lug lock key does not fit the lug. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. What? Well, I don't care. What? I'm the customer. I don't care. Right, look, I don't care. I mean, I, 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 I'm going to put everything back together. Uh, I don't care. Put everything back together. Get the fuck off my property. Or I can drag you off my property, too. And don't think just because I'm a woman, I can't do it. Because a woman brought you into this world, unfortunately. But all we do is come out here and try to Well, help. you try to help. That's fine. No, 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 but when somebody puts words in my mouth, I don't play that game. You, you come okay, to help. So that, you know, you so come that. to help. She don't come to put words in your mouth. And you shut your mouth right there, too. Or I can get the Go police ahead. and you drop our property. Go ahead and put the lug nuts back on. Get, 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 the, get the hell off. Get the hell off. But, or I could drag you off if you want that because this is my property and in the state of Georgia there's a lot you can do when you want somebody off your property. Sir, do you want me to put this tire back on? Put it on and get the fuck off! Okay, there ain't nothing ready to scream. I will see the hell it is! You in my world, when you cross that threshold, you in my world, buddy! Put it back on and get off. Your key is wrong. The locking key that you have is wrong. Talk to this me. goes for this, you fool! No, it don't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, there's, there's a lock on your nut. This is the one that makes it hold. Just tighten them up. Tighten it up and get the fuck out. <laughs> Still making yourself look more stupid, and I have to belittle you more. Yeah, keep talking, buddy. Keep talking. Not kidding your mother that pushed you into this world. Sorry, but I don't have one. Well, I don't have one either. I don't have one either. So you shut the fuck up. So you remember what pushed you into this world, woman. So you show some damn fucking respect. You ain't got much to you with that. No matter if you got a mother or not, you ain't got no respect on you. That don't say much. Now, drivers, I know this has nothing probably to do with trucking. But it's cool, though. It's cool, though. I mean, you probably might have a road service guy that come to take care of the truck or tires or anything like that and he was there to tell you that uh maybe a lug key or a uh maybe something that he couldn't fit and he just kindly tells you like well unfortunately i can't do nothing about it you'll probably have to call back for a tow and if that was the case did you go off on the technician now three minutes on tiktok it's not enough time for me to go in and unpack this video. I been in plenty of situations like that. And it's crazy that people just don't understand or take the time to figure out their car. Now, when they call me up and say, hey, I need a tire change. I need a jump start. I need fuel or I need a lockout. We come there with the basic tools we come there with the tools that would be enough for us to get the job done but if there's any extra that we have to take care of like a lug lock or anything of that matter then the lug lock key comes with the car okay now if the lug knock if the lug lock key doesn't fit or doesn't come with the car then I can't take the tire off or the rim off. If I come there for a lockout, and let's say if the lockout is too difficult, then I'm not going to tear up your car to get your car unlocked. So I am sorry if you're late. I'm sorry if for whatever reason you locked your keys in the car. If you call me up for some fuel because you ran out of fuel before you went home to fuel up your car, that is not my fault because I only bring enough just to get the car started. Now, unfortunately, if the car don't start and you need some more fuel, you have to pay for it. I'm just saying. Same thing with the impivitable jump start. Man, I can't, I can't tell you how many stories of jump starts that I have. Whew. One in particular was I, the the battery was like in the back of the it's in the back of the trunk but 
in order to assess the trunk, you got to go to the front and connect the jump pack to the jump ports in order to open up the trunk. Once I got the trunk open, I still couldn't get the battery jumped because it was up under so much junk. I told the guy, I was like, look, man, you're going to have to call for a tow. And he didn't like that. In this situation right here, guys, what you would have do if you was being belittled by this young lady? Let me know in the comments below. I would tell you, me, I would have left it right there. I would have dropped the, I would have dropped the car, packed up, and left. Period. Because I'm not going to stand there and let you belittle me, especially if I'm there to help you. Okay, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. If you don't understand what I'm trying to tell you or what I'm trying to explain to you, and then you turn around and belittle me like that, the way she did this man right here. He is wrong. The locking key that you have is wrong. Talk to this me. goes for this, you fool. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, no, it, it does. There's a lock on your gut blood nut. This is the one that fixed it, fool. Just tighten them up. Tighten it up and get the fuck out. <laughs> Still making yourself look more stupid, and I have to belittle you more. Talking about she feels sorry for his mother? Not kidding your mother that pushed you into this world. Hey, sorry, but uh, don't have a mother. And all like that. Number one, stop. Stop. You don't talk about my mother. That's one thing you don't talk about. That's that's one thing that to get hands thrown if you talk about my mother. All right? That's what you don't want to do. So what you want to do is calm yourself down, go back into the house, I'll pack up, and I'll leave, and you can get somebody else to help you out. Drivers, this is crazy. <laughs> this is so crazy. When I, seen this, when I seen this video to unpack, I said, yo, I, I got to do an episode on it. Even though it's not trucking related, but maybe you truckers – can attest to it maybe you guys was in a situation like that maybe your car was maybe you was with your car and you called for service and unfortunately the service couldn't be rendered because of whatever the situation was again let me know guys let me know what what you think in the comments below let's jump right into the comments man this commenter says all this because she can't find a lug nut. He is wrong. The locking key that you have is wrong. Talk to this me. This goes for this, you fool. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it does. does. There's a lock on your gut lug nut. This is the one that fixed it, fool. Just tighten them up. You, you, you going off in the tangent because you can't find a lug nut that fits the, uh, that, that fit the, the lug. It's not my fault. This commenter says, patience of this man is amazing. I agree. I agree. He had he had good patience. Me, I wouldn't have had none. This commenter says, he still apologized? Shaking my head. Exactly. I wouldn't apologize. I would have just left her, I would have left her in disbelief. This commenter says, I will be very tempted to drop the car and leave. That man has patience of a saint. I agree. I agree. Me, on the other hand, yeah, that car would have been dropped. I would have packed up and I would have left. Yeah, I would have been gone. All that, all that for the cheapest Mercedes on the market. <laughs> this commenter says, the old man wants you to take him with you. The old man that was standing there, he, he was like, I wish you could stop. <laughs> this comment says, this is why people don't want to work customer service anymore. This is the exact reason why. Because you run into unbelievable people like her. This comment says, wait, she knows so much. Why did she call you? Exactly. Exactly. If you know that the lug nut fits, then why didn't you change the tire yourself? That you have is wrong. Talk to this goes for this, you fool. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it does. This commenter says, she's pissing me off, and it ain't me. I Man, listen, I felt some kind of way when I saw this clip. I, man, I can, I feel this guy's pain because I've been there before. 
This commenter says, yep, I would have just dropped it and left. Say, say less, bruh. Say less. Bruh, she just kept going and going like the Energizer Bunny, bruh. Energizer keeps going and going. All that what she did was unnecessary. Thank you guys for watching this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Men Podcast Show.